What's up, shoot tubers? This is King Ali reporting back in for Royalty Concepts TV. And today I have a new video of the Nike Espa Reacts. Or oh, I think it's Nike React Espa. Um, in my office today, chilling. You see, I've been working my ass off. Uh, getting ready for the new year. I'm trying to wrap it up with some videos. I got one more video after this. I'm getting ready to post. But these in particular, this is probably going to be one of my favorite videos, um, just because it's something completely different from uh, what's out there or what you guys are probably used to. Definitely what, different from what I'm used to. Uh, from what I'm used to. Uh, so let's just get into it. Yeah, there we go. Nike React Espa Platinum Tint Team Red, and the Espa stands for Improvised Scavenge Protect Adapt. I really like what they're doing with this series and this collection. So here we go. I'm only gonna take one shoe out for you'll see why in a minute. So here we go. The Nike React Dispo. There we go. Uh, I do have another pair of these. I have like a dark gray. Uh, an olive green colorway that I have I, I've never uh, got to doing a, a video on so I seen these yesterday I went to Sawgrass Mall here in Florida and these were sitting on the shelf uh, months, I think it was another color I think it was like a dark gray and bluish color that they had but this one I had never seen and I love Volt Volt is like one of my favorite colors uh, neon yellow basically and all for you those that shop at the nike factory if you like me you know how it is you're walking down those aisles and you're looking for something just to like grab you right and this is the shoe that grabbed me this was the shoe that said come here it, it, they basically this shoe that basically did that scorpion get over here to me and um i'm really digging this shoe i'm i'm really digging it this is a shoe, and not just the color, but this is a shoe that turns heads. Uh, it's very unorthodox, like myself. And um, just from the style of lacing, uh, the style of the tongue, you see it's like everything is like offset. No pun intended. Um, you got the upper that's platinum tint. Got the little gray panel right here, the Volt outsole with translucent rubber. You have the, they're calling it Team Red. I'm going to call it Burgundy or Maroon. Um, got some hints of Burgundy, Burgundy reflective Nike check right here. Yes, that reflects. I don't know if my camera is picking it up, but this is that's a nice touch. Uh, it got a little bit of black in there, and as you can see, reflective laces. The eyelets are reflective as well. These are nice, man. Like a lot of details. You got the little ISPA logo right here on the inside, on the heel counter. And on the pull tab, the same. With the bright orange ISPA and Nike Check logo on the tongue. Uh, love the details man you got the Nike checks on the lace tips you have like a silver what was supposed to be a Nike check right here kind of like goes away behind that pull tab like little I like how they did it. and like little little small details like that little volt Nike check on top of the bigger Nike check um, the underlays are nice man I like how they did like this mesh upper and it's padded like a, you know, you have a more of a padded mesh up under the lighter mesh. But on this side, it's like just straight mesh. So it's like, if you see, like if I pull out this shoe paper, it's basically like see-through. So a lot of airflow through this shoe. A lot of airflow. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull out the other shoe. They come with, I think they all do, I think all colorways do, come with an extra set of laces. 
that come in this like little folder thingy that says ESPA. The orange ones come in this. Uh, but you do have like a bright orange. It's like a crimson really. Like a bright crimson uh, reflective laces that matches the tone. That was a nice touch. I mean, I probably would have put uh, Volt laces, Volt reflective laces, but you know, whatever. But you can kind of see how this one looks. Versus how this one looks with the platinum tint laces. This just flows better, but this look, this pops more. I'll probably end up um, leaving one in one foot and rock the other one like this. And one of the coolest things I almost forgot was the laces come over this way. Over into this little lace loop thing right here. And then you tie them back here. Love the way this looks. And these also have the Nike checks on them. Black Nike checks. Uh, really, really, really digging the ISPA collection. Uh, like what they're doing over at Nike. Um, it, it, I think for me it's more on the, the creative side. I think that's what that's what I've been trying to say. It's more on the creative side. Um, very comfortable for one. You have a comfortable shoe uh, with the Nike React midsole. And let me see if this is a Ortholite insole. No, nah, it's not an Ortholite insole. But yeah, these things are comfortable, man. Uh, something definitely different. I'm going to start buying more shoes like this going into 2020 moving forward um i think my biggest thing is i like shoes that have details something different from what everybody else is wearing something different from what everybody else is making you won't see these at foot locker you get what i'm trying to say like you got to go to nike to go get these you got to go to nike.com i don't even think they have these on no they don't, i don't think they have no they don't even have these on like finishline.com or footlocker.com um you got to go to a factory at least to go get these. But this is something definitely that you won't see the average person wearing. Uh, this particular model, the React Espa, um, I think there are two other colorways that they have on Nike.com that might be on sale. And then there's another one uh, I'm, trying to go to, I'm going to try to get my hands on in the next couple of weeks called the Nike React Serta. I think it's Serta or Serta. And... Those shits are nice. They look similar to this. Um, yeah, but that's it. Um, I want to touch on it for a few minutes as well. Uh, I might get some black backlash for this, but for whatever reason, these do remind me of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350. They, for whatever reason, they have that vibe is what I'm trying to say. They have that Yeezy Boost vibe. Just with the thickness of the midsole. That thick ass midsole, right? Bear with me. You have that line that goes through, right? You can say that's the line or you can say this is the line. It has that look. Like, these could have been... If Nike... If Kanye stayed with Nike, these could have been a Yeezy. Like, look at it. It has that vibe. And I think for me... Me being very biased when it comes to Adidas and Nike, like as far as what brand I would choose, I love Nike and I like it. To me, these are just done better. These are done better. I feel like the only reason those Yeezy 350 boosts and other other Yeezys are moving is because the name behind it, Yeezy, Kanye. I think outside of that, that shoe wouldn't sell, honestly. The 350 boosts grew on me. Like, it took a while. For that shoe to grow on me. I'm talking about from the the day the first colorway came out. It took a while for that shoe to grow on me. And that's the only one I really like. The other ones to me are just trash. That one is the only one that I like. And the only one that I did like was the one uh, that they dropped recently. Was the Yeez Rail. That Volt one. That uh, neon yellow one that dropped. So you can kind of see. To me. This has that vibe. You know what I'm trying to say. But that's my opinion. You, can, you know. Not in no way trying to compare the two as far as saying this is a, 
uh, oh, I got to pay Yeezy. These are my Yeezy Nikes, whatever. But, you know, whatever crazy shit that somebody might say. But it just has that vibe. I feel like this is the, the style that Kanye is going with. He's going with this this unorthodox style of doing shoes, which is cool. I just think some of them just look crazy. The Yeezy 350 boots is the only one that I really like. The other ones are just bulky as hell. To me, I feel like this is a Nike version of it as far as saying this just looks better. It's not as bulky looking. You get what I'm trying to say? Like Nike, I feel like Nike does everything better, honestly. But anyway, that's it on that video. I know I've been talking for a while. If you do want to pick these up, I do believe these are on Nike.com. Uh, I think they're on sale for like 100 maybe, and they might have a 20% off. I'm not sure if it ended Sunday, but uh, if you're looking for something different, definitely check this out. And I think they had two other colorways on there. Or check your no local Nike factory stores. Um, I would say call before you go. I usually call the Nike factories before I go up there just to see what they have. I usually ask to speak to someone in... Uh, Men's footwear, because usually they're far as hell from uh, the city areas. So, yeah, if you are um, interested in buying these, I would definitely say go. I'm going to see if I can make a, put a link in my description. I don't know if that'll work. I'm going to see if I can do that. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I'll see if I can drop a link in the descri description box. And um, If you like the video, man, just like and subscribe. I got more videos coming. Uh, different videos, man, on orthodox videos, that's my whole thing, man, it's doing things different from how the, the, the typical or the average uh, sneaker reviewer does. Oh, and I will be making a shirt for these. Yes. How would you rock these? Honestly, how would you rock these? Can you just, this is a whatever shoe, you just throw them on me. If I could find some burgundy joggers, I don't know, what would I wear with this? If I could maybe find some burgundy joggers in probably do like a white shirt with some burgundy and voting and i'm gonna figure something out but i will definitely be doing the shirt for these soon and uh, my website is down sorry for that it will be back up in probably today later on today and um yeah you can also follow me on instagram at king ali underscore 82 i have more uh I have more things going on that on my on my Instagram of course than YouTube. Yeah, that's it, man. I've been talking for a while. Got one more review to do, and then that's it. Peace.